Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Dan and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this piston feed tape system that you see right in front of you. This is essentially a colored combination lock using piston feed tapes, which can be very helpful for making secret vaults or, you know, like agent bases or whatever the crappy people, crazy people make in Minecraft nowadays. So yeah. Uh, this, I should probably specify that this design is uh, based on an old design by Mumbo Jumbo, but uh, from last time I checked, that design didn't work. So I kind of modified it a bit to make it more up to date and functional with 1.15.2. I'm not sure if it will be functioning in 1.16. I haven't played the snapshot yet, but um, let's hope it will. Otherwise, otherwise, this video is going to be very pointless. So. Anyways, let me just get right into it. So, let's build it right over here. What you will need for this project is 25 redstone dust, 1 stone button, 1 sticky pistons, 8 normal pistons, a shitload of blocks, a shitload of slabs, not really, but a, a couple of blocks and slabs, uh, 7 repeaters, 1 redstone block, uh, 9 glass, and uh, blocks of different colors for the actual color combination lock. I'm just going to stick with uh, two different colors of wool, but I would uh, I would uh, recommend every single one of you to make, or rather to choose 20 blocks of different colors, so that you actually can disting distinguish the pattern, rather than, you know, just having two of the same. So, without further ado, let's get right into the building. So, to start, you will place a little pattern, like this one right here, to make kind of for the frame of the build. I think this should be tall enough. And you can put three glass in the front here if you want to. So I should probably say that you need 21 glass, not... Or rather, 22 glass, not... Um, not uh, 19. But yeah, you get the picture. So you want to place your stone button right here. And then what you want to do is you want to come over to this other side, place a block here, a sticky piston here, and blocks like this with a redstone dust right there, a piston right there, a piston right there, and you want to dig yourself under like this, and take a two pistons right here, a line of redstone like this, and two, no, sorry, not pistons, but repeaters right there, a line of redstone like this, and two pistons, and then you want to dig out a little area right here, you want to place a redstone dust here, place a line of dust going like this, a repeater here set to three ticks and two pistons right there so that way when you press the button you should um my bad you need to also place a block right here and a block right there for this signal to actually go through so now you should see that that piston in the corner starts moving they both start moving this one a bit slower than this one so either way, now what you want to do is you want to place redstone like this, and you want to make a slab ladder, I suppose you can call it. So you want to go like this, and on the third one you want to go out two, and on the fourth one you want to go out, you want to stay back at the normal one again. And just place redstone like this. Then place one repeater right there, one block right there, two blocks like this, redstone on top of those blocks blocks and um, two pistons like this then you want to place blocks like this that go out and you want to place them in one like like this put the repeater right here so to four ticks and redstone dust all around then what you want to do is you just want to place pistons right there and the design should be function sh functional now. So if I press the button and look, you can see that all the pistons are moving. I, I can't tell if that one's moving as well. Give me two sec seconds. Let me just... Yeah, it's moving. Okay, so now everything is functioning the way it's supposed to. So then, now, what you want to do is you want to place in the glass. You want to place glass like this. Uh, leave a block space right there place glass over here here place glass all the way down leave one block right here and place glass like this then you want to place two blocks right here a redstone block 
your last repeater, switch out this glass for a, a solid block, a redstone uh, dust right here, and a torch right here. And that will be the basic redstone for the entire the entire um, design. So now all you want to do is just fill it in with the, your blocks of choice. As I said earlier, you probably want different colored blocks, not just of two colors. But uh, I'm just using this for demonstration. So you want to go all the way down here. And actually, come to think about it, I'll probably just put... Um, some slab, a stone slab block in the middle here, just so it's uh, distinguishable. And yeah, if I now click the button, it should work. And indeed, it does. So yeah, there you have the basic uh, kind of system for this contraption. And the way it works is is quite simple, really. You should be able to recreate this anytime. So, yeah, I think I'll make another one of these just to, to demonstrate some of the purposes of this system and then we'll be right back after this. Alright, so it should work now. And yeah, there we have the next one. So, for this, as you can tell, I, I placed some redstone torches here. And you might wonder what these are for. Well, I I haven't actually any planned any design for these torches. You can kind of do whatever you feel like doing with them. I'm just going to demonstrate what you could use this, um, this little system for by making a simple 2x2 two two piston door. So what you want to do is you want to just kind of go over here and... Make a little space for your door. Take some pistons. Place two right here like this. And then like this. Uh, take a... Um, a two gap... A kind of two space or two block gap. Place the same pattern on the other side. Some granite blocks right here. Wool. Just like this. With uh, maybe some granite going over. So you have a roof. Repeaters right here, set to one tick, redstone around like this. And then you want to just kind of make your little gateway, or whatever you want to call that. And uh, fill it up. And now if you give this a redstone signal, it is completely closed. But if you take the signal away from it, it opens again. So you could easily connect this to this contraption by just doing something like like this and then taking the redstone signal right here so that whenever one of these is not done correctly this door is closed because this one is incorrect so the second I turn the pattern back to where it started give me a second this may take a little while Two thousand years later. All right, now it's back again, and as you can see, it opened again. And uh, you can do this with anyone. As you can tell, this one was just off, and uh, the torch was on. But you can do this with this other design as well. So you can just kind of click this once, and this one closes up immediately. So there you have it: a functioning color combination lock, piston feed tape, uh, whatever you want to call it. And I just use this for for a simple 2x2 two two door, just to demonstrate. You can do this with a 4x4 four four vault door or a sand-based garage door. It really doesn't matter. It, it's, it's a good system either way. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Let me just get up here. Yeah, as I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please make sure to slap a like and... Uh, Subscribe if you're new here, which you most likely are because I'm currently at 7 subscribers. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one guys. Peace.